You are now watching I Flip Bricks. I Flip Bricks presents Storytime, Spirits in the Woods. In a small, secluded town nestled in the mountains, there was a legend of a haunted forest. The townspeople spoke in hushed tones about the dark and sinister spirits that lurked within the woods, and the brave few who dared to enter never returned. A group of friends decided to test their courage and venture into the haunted forest, unaware of the horrors that awaited them. The group consisted of five friends. Sarah, a fearless and adventurous young woman. Mark, her loyal and level-headed boyfriend. Emily, Sarah's best friend, who was always up for a challenge. David, the skeptic of the group who didn't believe in ghosts. And Alex, the joker who never took anything seriously. They had heard the tales of the haunted forest, and fueled by curiosity and a desire for adventure, they decided to explore it for themselves. As they made their way through the dense and foreboding forest, the air grew colder and the atmosphere became increasingly eerie. The trees seemed to loom over them like twisted, gnarled fingers, and the silence was suffocating. The group pressed on, their nerves on edge, but they tried to convince themselves that it was all just a spooky legend. As night fell, they set up camp in a small clearing, surrounded by the oppressive darkness of the forest. They lit a fire and tried to shake off the feeling of unease that hung in the air. As they sat around the crackling flames, sharing ghost stories and laughing, they suddenly heard a blood-curdling scream coming from the depths of the forest. The fire flickered and danced in the darkness, casting eerie shadows on the trees, and the group fell silent, their hearts pounding in their chests. Sarah tried to convince herself that it was just an animal, but deep down, she knew that something was terribly wrong. The group decided to investigate the source of the scream, hoping to find whoever was in distress. Armed with flashlights, they ventured into the dark, forbidding woods, their footsteps echoing in the stillness. They followed the sound deeper into the forest, the trees closing in around them, until they reached a clearing bathed in an otherworldly, pale light. In the center of the clearing, they saw a figure standing with its back to them, its body swaying gently. As they approached, they realized that it was a woman, her hair hanging limply over her face. She seemed to be whispering to herself, her voice filled with malice and anger. Before they could react, the woman turned to face them, her eyes empty and soulless. She lunged at them with inhuman speed, her nails clawing at their skin. They screamed and fought back, but the woman seemed to possess a supernatural strength. They managed to escape, but the terror was far from over. As they made their way back to their camp, they realized that the forest itself was alive with malevolence. The trees seemed to twist and contour it, and the air was thick with an otherworldly presence. They were trapped in a nightmare, and there was no way out. They soon discovered that the haunted forest was home to the vengeful spirits of those who had died within its depths. The spirits were angry and tormented, and they sought to claim the souls of the living as their own. Sarah and her friends were in a fight for their lives, and they knew that they had to find a way to escape the forest before it was too late. As they searched for a way out, they encountered more horrors that tested their courage and sanity. They faced apparitions that whispered dreadful secrets, and they were haunted by the anguished cries of the restless dead. Each step they took brought them closer to the truth of the forest's dark past, and they realized that their only hope for survival lay in uncovering the forest's secrets. Finally, they stumbled upon a hidden chamber deep within the heart of the forest. In the chamber, they found an ancient artifact that held the key to breaking the curse that bound the spirits to the woods. With trembling hands, they performed the ritual that would banish the malevolent entities from the forest forever. As they completed the ritual, the forest began to shake and groan, and the air was filled with a blinding light. 
The spirits screamed in agony as they were cast out of the woods, and the forest itself seemed to crumble and fade away. When the light finally subsided, Sarah and her friends found themselves standing on the edge of the forest, their bodies trembling with exhaustion and relief. They had survived the horrors that lurked within the haunted woods, but they knew that they would carry the memories of that fateful night with them forever. The experience had changed them, and they would never be the same again. As they walked away from the edge of the forest, they knew that they had narrowly escaped a fate worse than death, and they vowed never to speak of the haunted forest again, for fear of awakening the spirits that still lingered within its depths. Thank you for watching. I flip bricks. Don't forget to subscribe.